I only see one way to reach it. Do you want to climb on that chair? Yes, why do you ask? Well, I thought you were a gentleman, a man with distinction, someone I and my husband would have liked to support financially. Even a gentleman has to climb on chairs from time to time. Please, let's not argue. I said my mind. You do what you want with that. Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Kobe Scroby, and welcome back to A New Beginning. Thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me today. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button for me. Leave me your thoughts on it down below in the comments, and you can also subscribe to the channel for A New Beginning and other videos. Now, last time, what did we do? We were at the Energy Conference, and we kind of kidnapped Dr. Brown. Uh, I think he may be dead, but they didn't show... Uh, there was just a puddle of blood outside of a closet big enough for a person. Anyway, so then Salvador went up on stage and impersonated Dr. Brown. And then they were like, detain this man. And then, not exactly, I don't remember anything else happening after that other than we cut back to Bent and Faye. And he, he agreed to go get the blue-green algae with her. So we flew out to this, which looked like an offshore oil rig, I suppose. But apparently this is where they're growing the algae or something. So anyway, we got on here and now we are in the doctor's office getting like a physical before we're allowed into the facility. So Faye is behind the curtain here with the doctor. Faye stares at the doc like he is going to kill her, but he just wants to test her knee reflex. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and then she didn't trust the doctor because she's like, I guess she's not exactly sure what the modern medicine is in this time because she's from the future. So she's like, I don't want him using a, I don't remember, like super primitive, like leeches and and bloodletting and, you know, back in like medieval times, I suppose, I think, if that's the right period that I'm thinking of that they used to do back then for medical treatment. She doesn't understand that. He's just gonna, yeah, gonna check her reflexes basically, and then make sure she's not like really sick. Bring it it in here, Doc. I need a stamped certificate, or Barney won't let me attend the presentation. You will get it as soon as I finished examining your friend. Hey, that's too bright. Uh, will you please refrain from squeezing your eyes shut? I have to check your pupils. No, my eyes remain shut. This is going to take a while. <laughs> if I want to be on time for the presentation, I'd better find another way. Okay. So, let's look around. Duva painted the upper one a long time ago, but not the lower one. So Duva is his son. <gasps> but not the lower one. So his son drew this one a long time ago, and now I think his son's son, who he doesn't know about, drew this one. Huh? He has a grandson that his son never told him about, maybe? Looks like one of the vaults you see in murder mysteries. One of those where they store the corpses. Blood samples. Vicious stuff. I'm stealing blood from a doctor. Shouldn't it be the other way around? Yeah, well, we're just taking... One sample is enough. We're just <laughs> stealing blood samples? Okay, close. So he can't tell we were stealing his patient's blood. Doctors and their paperwork. A stamp pad can become as important as a scalpel. Uh, can't get it. There it is. Touch. Totally dry. Just like bureaucracy itself. Okay. I thought he was just going to stick his fingers in the ink. <laughs> Only people who can produce such a scrap of paper are allowed on the oil rig. What is this? Oh, health certificate? Read. The doc already completed it. Only the seal is missing. Hmm. Is this a seal? The doc Oops. only the... I was trying to get it to go to take. Totally dry. Just... Okay, so... Uh... Oh, is this what we're doing? Really? So we're going to put the blood on the ink pad? A oh. drastic measure, but time is short. I don't believe it. He just looks like he slopped it on there. All right, now we're going to 
stamp our health certificate. Morbid, but it worked. Oh my god, are you serious? Signed in blood, if that isn't a hell of a deal. <laughs> Literally. The doc already completed it. Okay, so let's just finish looking around stuff in here and we'll get going. The mattress sags, the bed squeaks, and you are miles away from daylight. I can't stand seeing the bed anymore, even after two years have passed. Two years have passed since he was in this bed, or he was with someone in this bed. Also, look at the flying through space screensaver. There's the cabinet with the patient records. Mine is in there too. There's the cabinet with the Mine is in there. Okay, we heard that. Ah oh, yes, there it is. Ben Svensson, born as a severe depression, burnout syndrome, etc., etc. We advise against continuation of employment. Hmm. Was it really only just two years ago? Ah. Uh, it's only been two years ago since he got fired or started his retirement, I guess. Okay. All right, let's go. Everything peachy, Bent? Where's your companion? She'll be a while. That's too bad. The presentation is almost over. Do you have the health certificate? Yes. Look at this moth. Or, and or butterfly. Or, I, I, it's probably a moth, not a butterfly. <laughs> Can I get in without a certificate? Here, Barney. That should be all. May I enter now? What are our chances of finding... What are our chances of finding an investor? They are good, I'd say. We've made an impression. Did you show them around the labs? No. But we had a fantastic brunch with wild salmon from the Atlantic. Hmm. Yes, I know what you're thinking. Overfishing of the seas, endangered species. The problem is just that we can't afford to point fingers today. No one wants to do business with narrow-minded greenies. But we are narrow-minded greenies. Wrong. We are greenies with wild salmon from the Atlantic. We are people you can talk to. Barney, we must not sell our ideals. Don't be naive, Bent. We need the money. Therefore, we have to curry favor with rich and arrogant business people. Everything in me resists this idea. That's the difference between you and me. You want to do research, and I do the dirty work that's getting your research financed. And sometimes there is no room for your do-gooder mentality. Yes, I know, I know. Can't I get in without the certificate? Well, Dr. Svensson, my responsibility is to follow the regulations, not make them. Damnation. Here, Barney, that should be all. May I enter now? Okay. Name's on it. Stamp as well. All right. Time for your big comeback. Ha! <sighs> Oof. Nervous? Should I be? Well, it's been two years since you last saw your son. Oh, nonsense. I'm not nervous. Hmm. Yeah, right. Yes. Could you go ahead, please? This little do-gooder needs to visit the restroom first. <laughs> what? I just need to pee. I'm not nervous. Sure, Ben. Sure. Dr. Svensson, I'm trying to be polite here. What you just told us is ripe with trivial generalizations and esoteric hocus-pocus. We know that our oil reserves will be used up one day. We are aware that we will need to find a way to fill the hole this will rip into the energy supply. We also know that some nuts will be worried about the climate whenever you try offering them workable solutions. What we don't know is why on earth we came here. What miraculous technology are you talking about when you claim to be able to solve all this planet's problems in one stroke? Thank you for the cue, Mr. Indez. I am talking about a technology that doesn't produce emissions. One that can be replicated easily, and that can be grown in every household. It is effective enough to... Oh. Um... Did I understand you correctly? Your miracle plant will grow in every consumer's garden? Um, yes. The magic word is reproduction. A small installation that will fit on every balcony will provide enough energy for the household. It is an autonomous and ecological energy. The process is called nitrogenase. He means hydrogenase. Um, the process is called hydrogenase, which means that cyanobacteria will convert light, air, and water into high-energy oxygen. The degree of efficiency of the energy output yields values around 0.08%. What? That's wrong. It's 0.8%. Do you want to give the lecture, Father? 
I, um... Maybe we can cut this embarrassing family drama short. The question I ask myself is, what kind of business model do you have in mind? If people grow algae on their balcony like chives, what do we sell them? No one here wants to give away energy for free, right? <laughs> yes. Uh, no. The consumer needs the technology to... <clears throat> to grow the algae and dissipate the hydrogen. Fuel cells for conversion must be bought and maintained. But, um, well, that's all there is to say on the business aspect of our presentation. I suggest we take a short break. Afterwards, we can jump right in with the calculations. I would like to see this bacteria in action. Or that. After the break, we will present the blue-green algae, and then we will talk about the calculations. We will reconvene at 2 o'clock sharp. Thank you. That was something. And where has Duva disappeared to? The least he could say was hi. Please don't hold it against him. It's all the excitement about the presentation. And then his father appears out of the blue. He is a bit overwhelmed. He shouldn't blame himself. He did well. I am more worried about this Indes. Emilio Indes is a businessman. He needs to ask these kinds of questions. No, my gut tells me that he's planning something. And I won't leave this room before I've found out exactly what it is. Indes is the power plant guy. Oh man, I wonder if he is just going to buy it so that he owns it and then basically file it away so no one can ever know. Barney pretends not to be worried, but I know him well enough to see through his act. And then he would own it and uh, no one else could do it because he owns it. I guess, if they sell the rights, I suppose. Barney, can I ask you something? Sure, shoot. Oh, jeez. I didn't think we were going to have to talk this much. What is Indes doing here? He was at the climate conference in Oslo. I guess that's where he heard about our research. In any case, he called me right after the conference to make an appointment. This man is one of the biggest polluters on the planet. I know, but if he's our only investor in the end... Then we will be selling our souls to the devil. Pent, I know you don't like to hear this, but I can't stress it enough. Sometimes you have to compromise if you want to do good. Or I suppose, so this is after the conference where Salvador went up and was telling about how the power plants are going to explode. So I suppose maybe it's possible that Indes is here looking for an alternative, but eh, doesn't seem likely. It seems like he would still do the power plants anyway. I don't know. Who are those two at the table over there? Mr. and Mrs. Wagner, from Wagner & Wagner, in Vancouver. They came all the way from Canada? Um, not quite. They were on vacation at a fjord when they heard about the presentation. Well, I hope they don't see this as a day trip. The last thing we need is tourists. What we need are people with money, and those two have money to burn. So, please, be nice to them. Who is the man in the white outfit? That's Saeed Janzir. He is the chief accountant of one of the biggest oil tycoons in the Middle East. Just an accountant? How much say can an accountant possibly have? His boss wanted to come himself at first, but he had to cancel on short notice. Bent, times are tough. Beggars can't be choosers. Just great. Who is the man in the yellow vest and tie? His name is Mike Zemft. He's doing an internship with us. Oh? Is he any good? Hard to tell. He just walks around most of the time, taking notes. If I didn't know better, I'd say he's doing research for a novel. <laughs> sure. Who would want to write a story about guys like us? <laughs> good point. <laughs> but you know as well as I that crazy people can be found everywhere. I better get on with things. Good luck. Still water, much healthier than wine cooler and champagne. Wine cooler and orange juice? Can I take another one? One liter should be enough. One liter? Jeez. Snack. Take. All right. What is this? Pointer. Take. Hmm. It's stuck. Okay. Uh, button. Man, woman, window. The window is closed. I can open the window, it says here. I don't know why I would want to do that at this moment. Uh, stop her? Move. I only see one way to reach it. Do you want to climb on that chair? Yes. Why do you ask? Well, I thought you were a gentleman. 
a man with distinction, someone I and my husband would have liked to support financially. Even a gentleman has to climb on chairs from time to time. Please, let's not argue. I said my mind. You do what you want with that. Unless I want to scare off our investors, I'd better find another solution. Okay. So, we can't climb on a chair. Okay. It's stuck. So that's what the curtain thing is. Oh, stopper. So I have to remove that to close the curtain. Okay. I wonder. Okay. You know what? Let's uh let's finish looking in here first. What do you think about the presentation, Mr. Indes? Do you think this blue-green algae is a good investment? <laughs> this cabbage? No way. But I could have told you that before. If you already knew that, why are you here? I came here to dispose of a nuisance. A nuisance as small as an ant, but as persistent as a thorn in my side, and as presumptuous as a fat Norwegian who sticks his nose into things that are none of his business. Go on, don't mind me. What nuisance are you talking about? I will tell you in private. Aha, okay. That's why we need to open the door. All right, let's look at this stuff. It needs a lot of power, but is otherwise environmentally friendly. I wouldn't accept anything else. The air conditioner. How about the birds? Bird's nest. The little brats are hungry. Hello, you little, um, birds. What do you want? Oh. Hmm. And here I thought I was good with kids. I bet if you open the window to listen to them, the bird's making noise. So maybe we need to give it a snack? Do you like pistachios? There you are. Aha. Good. Okay. The window is closed. The lever for opening and closing the window is on the other side. Okay, that's what I, that's what I thought. Let's, uh... What are those two plotting? Good evening. Can't you see we are having a conversation here? I can. That's why I thought I'd join you. You are not welcome here. Hmm. Looks like we have the same problem. Spare me your comments and get lost. Okay. What are those two plotting? What have I just told you? That you can't stand people and would have preferred life as a llama? Hmm. <laughs> Bugger off! <What? laughs> okay. Let's head back in. And then close. And then open. And then eavesdrop. Mr. Indes, please don't turn around. We are being watched. These Norwegians. Impossible. Darn. They stopped talking. So I need to close... Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, I got an idea. Huh? Nudging the stop won't help to unscrew it. Ah, uh, really? What about if I put the plastic net on the button? I wouldn't know how. Okay, fine. Okay, well maybe we should just talk to them first. I haven't talked to them yet. Looks like a cross between naive tourist and unscrupulous businessman. He's saying it right in front of him. That's funny. So what do you think about the bacteria? I think it's taking much too long. I want to see something. Please, have a little patience. You will get to see something right after the break. Good. I don't have all day, you know. My wife and I are expected on a whale-watching tour later today, and I don't want to miss that under any circumstance. You will not regret the wait, I promise. We'll see. Okay, talk to her. A violet jacket. Charming. Do you like the presentation so far? Oh, yes, it's very nice. I particularly liked the helicopter ride. I, um... I was talking about the cyanobacteria. Does the technology convince you? There is supposed to be a live presentation after the break. If that is as good as the trip here, your chances are good. Do you expect a show? Yes. If you can impress us, you will get our money. 
Hmm. Okay. 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 What's this? Oh, bottle opener. I didn't even see that. I'll not leave before I know what Indez plans to do. How? <gasps> oh, I got it. Is this going to act like a screwdriver? On with it. Yes. Ha, that fits perfectly. I don't freaking believe it. Okay. Stop her. The Philosopher's Stone. A bottle opener on a pointer. Huh, okay. Uh... Oh, what? Oh, I could take him apart? Weird. The bottle opener is Barney didn't want to leave. Okay. I didn't realize that I couldn't, um, that I could take those apart. All right, let's push a button. All right, now let's eavesdrop. Are you worried the algae could destroy the energy market? If a flower power energy everyone could grow on his balcony really existed, then yes, I would be worried. But this cabbage couldn't supply enough energy for a toaster. I'm just worried that these idiots in Oslo might see it differently. And what do you plan to do about it? What every good businessman would do. I'm going to buy it. I will put one specimen on my shelf. Huh? And I'll dump the rest into the ocean. See? That's where algae belong, after all. Bon voyage, Dr. Svensson. A Rivederci Echo Power. And the best thing is, as long as no one else is interested in it, I will get it at a bargain price. <laughs> the pig. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the break is over. If you would be so kind to return to your seats. Okay. We will commence live presentation of our technology now. As you can see, our assistants provided some algae specimen. Dr. Svensson, if you would. Of course. He means me. Let me do it. I worked on that technology for 30 years. I know how to get the maximum possible result. Um, well then, proceed. Oh no. So... The lamp on the generator only glows lightly. <laughs> okay. The generator transforms the H2 the algae produces into electricity. Okay. There's something heavy on the hose. No wonder the generator isn't working properly. Okay. This thing was put here on purpose. The generator gets enough H2 now. Someone was trying to sabotage us. Okay, cart? The algae needs light, fresh water, and air for successful hydrogenase. Light. Move. Open. And then water? Still water. Much healthier than... Okay, I must have double-clicked on her. Let's freshen up the algae a bit. Well, the algae has light and fresh water, and the gas can freely flow into the generator. And the light bulb glows. Bravo. Can you really not see the genius in this performance? The only thing I see is slime in a fish tank. Dr. Svensson, since no one else seems interested in it, I would like to buy the slime. Stop, just a second. I forgot something. The presentation isn't over yet. Well, I can hardly wait. I, I didn't actually... Rechargeable battery. Ah... This thing looks like a rechargeable battery. What the heck is the battery doing on the H2 hose? That can't be a coincidence. I, um, I didn't mean to, like, actually trigger the presentation. I was just, like, doing the stuff. All right, so, how about... This thing looks like... What how, the about, heck that can how about if we take the battery and we put it on the light bulb? That'd be a waste of time. Generator? That doesn't make any sense. No, there must be a more sensible solution. I can see from here that that won't get me very far. Okay. Is that really the maximum of what the algae can do? There must be something else I can do. Can I open... Can I open the blinds? Duva? 
Man, woman, and does. Duva. Don't make any mistakes now, Bent. All eyes are on you. Well, I'm just standing here like an idiot. <laughs> Man. Don't make any mistakes. All eyes. Woman. Don't make all. Okay. And does. Don't make all. Accountant. Don't make all. Man. Don't make any all eyes. Barney. Barney pretends not to be worried, but I know him well enough to see through his act. So the only thing that I think that I see that I can do... Take? One leader should... Okay, can we use this? I prefer a good solid plan before I start experimenting. Okay then, I'll put the battery in the net. Okay, I'll put the battery in the net. I put the bat. <sighs> okay. Generator? If this works, I will believe every word Faye said. Oh dear. What? What have you done? I, um, I just wanted... Was that the nitrogenase you were talking about? Who would have thought that 0.8% can be that explosive? Dr. Svensson, why did you give an endless monologue on wind energy instead of showing us this right from the start? I don't know. Ask my father. He is the uncrowned expert around here. And, um, who of you will receive our money? I guess that means we did it right. This stupid doctor. I don't want to get some rest, and I'm not sick either. Fat punk thieves! Hmm? Hello? Fat thieves! Attack! Everyone will die! Dalvin, what are you talking about? What attack? The in Crap! Something's wrong with the antenna. I thought Augie wanted to install it on the helicopter. Oh no, I hope he didn't break it. I'd better go check on it. Oh, geez, what do I do? Um, we're basically at, at a pretty good time right now, but we didn't finish the chapter. I think what I'm going to do is end it right here for today. And we'll pick up here next time. I guess I'll try to keep them a little bit shorter if I can, because I feel like a lot of times when I'm looking for something to watch, I'm like, all right, I got this much time. I have to find a video that's this much time or less. So <laughs> maybe that'll help out. I don't know. Anyway. That's going to be it for today. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to hit the like button for me. Leave me your thoughts on it and the game down below in the comments. Let me know what you're thinking of it so far. And you can always subscribe to the channel for more, a new beginning, and other videos. So thanks again for coming to hang out with me today, you guys. I really do appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Later, guys.